we are ready to rock this great cup week with Hamilton's own rock band, Monster Truck. And joining us now is their guitarist, Jeremy Weiderman. Uh, thanks for coming in. You're welcome. We've been having some good chats because, again, sometimes the pre-chat is better than the actual chat chat. Uh, our high school years, you stayed longer. I left early. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you wanted to hang out with all the punk rock kids. Yeah. And, and, I, and I got good grades and you didn't. That is true. <laughs> uh, thank you for revealing that on television. I appreciate that. <laughs> what does it mean to you to be performing at the Great Cup? Uh, it's great. Like it, Always being a part of the Tiger Cat stuff has always been awesome, but it's been especially good for our friends and family mm -hmm. who have supported the band for years. Like my dad's up in the box, mm -hmm. so he's with all his friends. He's wearing his Weiderman Tiger Cats jersey. That's adorable. So like when we did the halftime and I got to go back up there and he, like it's a big deal for him. Yeah. So that's what really makes it special. Um, now here, being a Monster Truck fan that I am, of course, um, I thought you guys were more into hockey than football. We are. <laughs> It's a morning show. I got to keep positive. <laughs> we like, we, I get it. We, okay. we love the Thai Cats. Uh, that's why we're bummed that they aren't playing. Yeah, of so, course. So we're hoping for like the first ever like double loss. Give it to the host team. Smart. Grey Cup thing. Case, but if you had to choose, who are you going to cheer for? Because now you have to choose. You got to cheer for one or the other. I cheer for the Thai Cats. I'll cheer through and through. Yeah, and I'll cheer for uh, the fans that are sad that they're not playing, and they'll probably play next year, but it'll be like in Winnipeg. Yeah, exactly. And you guys will be standing there freezing <laughs> on the stage. Uh, you guys get into a pretty good zone. I've been to a couple of your concerts. You guys are really, really, really loud. Yeah. Um, some people are blaming you for loss of hearing. Yeah. Yeah. On the, uh, it's actually really, I guess it's not supposed to be funny, but when people come on the social media and <laughs> recount their experience of years ago where they were at our show and now they have tinnitus, it's, it's, a, it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a little point of pride, I guess. Yeah. Uh, what's your history with the Thai Cats? Um, just, you know, we played the, we played the, I think it was the Labor Day Classic, we played the halftime show, which yep. is just like a huge deal. Um, anytime we get to play in front of like a, you know, 20,000, 30,000 people, it's yeah. a big deal. So yeah. we've done it a few times, but that was a special one because it was hometown. Mm -hmm. Music's your number one. What other hobbies do you get yourself into when you're not uh, I've been woodworking on the stage. these days. Uh, a lot of beer league hockey, shout out replacements and brutality. Um, you, sorry, beer league hockey. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, we played. We played last night. We took our like one of our first loss. We took the first our first loss of the season last night. It was a tough oh. one. And we lost four three. And we made you get up early today. That's okay. I got another game tonight. So you were like drowning your sorrows and your loss. Oh well, tonight you'll win. Yeah, well, tonight we'll win. Of course. Yeah, it's a different yeah. team, but we'll win. I'll you're win. I'll feel win. better. Yeah. Okay. Um, I know it's going to be a ton of fun for the Grey Cup festivities. Anything new coming up for the band? I know you guys came out with an album last year, Warriors, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, we're doing like a, we're doing a thing called the Dive Bar Tour that we put together, which is like getting back to some smaller venues. I love that. And because um, it's tough when you play the big venues, you get separated from the crowd by like sometimes upwards of like 50 feet. Right. And it's not as intimate as it used to be when we play these bars and to be people like mm -hmm. literally like this close to you mm -hmm. so we're doing some of that we're playing uh in windsor on the 24th of november we're playing in owen sound at the harb on the 25th of november and then we're going to be doing one in hamilton which is unannounced surprise it'll be what soon. yeah how do people find out? It, it doesn't matter. You're not going to get in. No one's getting in. It's going to be the. I think it's going to be sold out before we are actually announced. Oh. So I don't know. I, I should pay more attention. But we're yeah. We are playing Hamilton in December, but it's a kind of a secret. So are you the guy in the band that just like designs the covers and like just like sits in the back and doodles and not I don't actually even, pays attention to the yeah, announcements that are being made? I don't even design the covers. I like. I do all the computer nerd work after the fact. Oh, so you're like the graphic designer guy. Yeah, I like, the I like take the artist's stuff and then I make it so that it's got all the right dimensions. It's not that exciting. Do you love doing that though? No, because... no. I, no? It's, no, because I went to school for it. It was a thing I did before the band took so off. they're like, Jeremy, yeah. sorry, we can't afford to hire somebody. We, so. we can, but we, so... it's cheap. It's just cheaper. It's capitalism <laughs> in its like purest it's form. Finest. It's like I just work for free. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. Um, okay, I know you guys have to get into like a zone and this kind of goes back to playing the smaller venue. I mean, when you've got the crowd up front and personal, does it impact your performance at all? 
Yeah, big time. Yeah. For me, it's like it's everything. It's it's one of the reasons I really wanted to do the dive bar tour because I've just been feeling disconnected from the crowd for years because the, it's weird the the band success has led to less intimate shows, so it's harder to like get that reciprocal energy going on stage. We had a good one at yeah. the Opera House about a month ago, and that was like cool because it was we. You could feel the well, energy. They ask, you, they ask you. They're like, "Do you guys want to have a barricade? Yeah. You know, the pit barricade." And I was no. Like, no. Our fan base is. We also, want things to be thrown at us. Yes. Well, and our fan base is older. Like we've gotten older. Our fan base has gotten older. So yeah. it's not like getting that rowdy. Like yeah. people aren't like crowd surfing and like stage diving. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit easier to have everyone get, get back up tight again and have it feel a little more intimate. And yeah. It's a big deal for me because I'm the energy guy on stage, and if I'm giving it all out. And not getting any back, I get off you the. You can feel it. I get off yeah. the stage feeling almost downright depressed because okay. I've like given everything that I have and I haven't gotten anything back. So well. that's what the dive bar tour is about. It's so I can get some All of that right. energy back. We've run out of time. Let's do it. They're yelling Get out of here. here. I'm going back to bed. Um, go back to bed. <laughs> Great energy on tour. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming in and hanging out with us. Yep. And have fun at the Great Cup and cheer for no one.